Welcome to Fort Worth, Texas, and Eamon G. Carter Stadium, home of the TCU Horned Frogs. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Houston Cougars, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the TCU Horn Frog. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. He'll start the return inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Houston Cougars offense will get the first crack at it here. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fella. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Now the play fake. Caught in the backfield. It's York. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And to keep this opening drive going, they'll need to convert third and one. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. The Cougars will snap it on first and ten. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Smith dropping to pass. He fires one deep over the middle. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They're trying to get to it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. That's an interesting call going play action on third and long because the defense is not worried about you handing the football off. That's not freezing anybody, especially these defensive ends. They're going right up the field. You saw that time the pocket collapsed as they were able to get to the quarterback. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. So TCU's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. The Horn Frogs in the hurry up. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Pressure coming. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big time break for the offense. Trying play action. Fires to the wide out. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Touchdown, Houston. The defense with the scoop and score. The defense comes up with the fumble and takes it to the house. The old scoop and score. Create the fumble, pick that puppy up, take it to the house. Great job by the defense, not only forcing the turnover, but getting points out of it. Lining up for the PAT. Extra point. 
And the extra point makes it 7 0. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Dropping back, it's Hoover. Working that left side now. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. It's been a rough start for these guys, and you look down the schedule in the Big 12, there aren't many soft landing spots. Well, no doubt about it. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. And the Horned Frogs want to crank the tempo. On third down, going up top. Coming after him. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. The Horned Frogs decide to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The Houston offense comes onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Quick tempo here for the offense. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle, but you could tell the speed sets them up, makes the big play out to the left. Got three on first down at second and seven. Smith wants to throw. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. Keeps it and gets the first down. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. He's looking to throw. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. And he feels the heat coming and it burns him up. Another sack. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Sam Houston may not be leaving town with a blowout victory, but they'll take a dub away from Huntsville every time. The Bearcats have been racking up road wins since the Ron Randleman days, and they get another one today. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. 
pulled and fired complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And the Horned Frogs want to pick up the tempo. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Fires to the tight end. At the 45 on his way. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. He knows the receiver. He knows so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the grab. It's Sanders. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up in the 26 with the first down. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball. Close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. No huddle here for the offense. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, throws toward the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they love to convert this third and long. Safe completion on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. team out there to send it away on the move from inside his five he was looking for more running room but none to be found as he stopped at the 23 the Houston offense ready to go back to work they kicked a field goal on the last drive Jesse they've got the lead don't make a dumb mistake but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Houston wants to play fast. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Quickly out to the tight end. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And that's a first down on the offense. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. The Cougars will line it up on first and ten. Looking for a crease, it's Jenkins. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run the counter. Tough, physical, hard-nosed running gets him to the 34. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? He'll do it himself. They'll stop him right there, but it is enough for a Houston first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. 
They'll run it out of the shotgun. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Smith dropping to pass. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Cougars. What a catch and run for six. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They march 78 yards down the field, and they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely Wants to throw on third down. Finds a man by himself. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting to his progression. After the misfire, now on second down. They'll leave it with him. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. The Horned Frogs headed quickly to the line. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Getting some heat. He's going to run it. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. And the Horned Frogs send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Here comes the Houston offense once again. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Smith wants to throw. There were serious revolutions on that third down pass, but it's incomplete. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. So guys, we'll see this offense again. They'll run it from the gun. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the right. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Feeling some heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. The Horned Frogs will try to pin them back with the punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. 
just needs a crack to get a return. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking for space. It's Jenkins. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun. Wants to pass. He'll pull it down and run. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Trying to get to nowhere to go, and the ball's loose. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. Excellent field position here for the offense. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. And the Horned Frogs racing to the line in the hurry up. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And he gets home again, continuing his production. Last week, two sacks. This week, already a sack in the first half. This guy has been on a sack terror. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Back to throw, it's Hoover. Pocket starts to collapse. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He'll line it up from the right side. A 37-yarder coming up. Between the uprights, it's good. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Coastal Carolina is down, but they are not out of it. Not there on the surf turf in Conway. One of the more enjoyable places to watch a game in all of college football. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Old Dominion. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out. They held him to a field goal, so that's the good news. Now this offense has to get it going. Forget about the fumble, Jesse. Move on. Be positive. And they're upset with themselves, too. Uh, they're an offense that pride themselves on ball security. Let's see what they do right here. A little screen to the running back. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. They're trying nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. They'll get to keep possession, but man, do they have a long way to go after that fumble threw them in reverse. And you could just feel a collective sigh of relief when that ball rolled out of bounds. Yeah, that defense, they looked excited. You see all those bodies trying to run over, jump on that football? That offense is very lucky that thing trickled out of bounds. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they're ready to go again. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. 
He's piled up 82 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Forced to just throw it away on third down, and now they face fourth. Slips through the line, and the returner will be knocked down. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two score. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Going deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. At the 40, there he goes. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. The Horned Frogs will punt this one away. Cover guys getting down to do their job, and they'll stop him at the 15. Offense set on first down. Smith dropping to pass. Quarterback extends the play. Across the 25, he's got room. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gun of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He'll pull it down. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Still on his feet at the 45. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play. Moves the chains for the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Quarterback moving. He'll try to do it himself. Open space at the 25. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Houston getting set, looking at first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Wilson. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could... Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And that will extend their lead even further. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside the 15, here comes the return. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a first-rate game so far today in Fort Worth. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out and it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, 
but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Amon G. Carter Stadium. Just about set to start the second half. Houston will kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. TCU has it back in the Horned Frogs go on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, I got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Going up top. And incomplete on the deep ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Out of the gun to give to the back. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. And the Horned Frogs will hustle to the line. Looking to throw, it's Hoover. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Snap in the shotgun. He caught it. And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. They've stalled out a bit in the red zone. Just a couple of field goals on three previous trips. Now to get it in on second and goal. Into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, TCU. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. We're taking shots. We need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Houston offense comes onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Houston will be forced to punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets a block. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he's stopped. A first down for the offense. They'll give it to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. The Horned Frogs want to move quickly. Takes the handoff. It's Sanders. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. 
pulls and throws off the RPO. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. They ran it on first down, now on second. For wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers, and they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? To the air. It's Hoover. And they got him for the sack. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. And the Horned Frogs will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wants. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down to the 16. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Forced out of the pocket. Headed to the end zone. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Arkansas State is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Jonesboro for some time. They're up by 18 over South Alabama. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. That's caught. It's Richardson. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. The Horned Frogs moving quickly to the line. Out of the shotgun on third down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat, and you're going, no, look out for your blind side, watch out. But they had a great job rushing the quarterback getting him on the ground and getting the football out a little extra bonus nice job by the defense getting nasty here comes the houston offense once again 
That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. Touchdown, Houston! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points, so it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quick. Here comes the hurry up. The play action fake. Pressure coming. And he can't escape, and down he goes. He has been terrorizing quarterbacks all year long. That now his 10th sack of the season. He's got speed. He's got power. He's going to play on Sundays. And he is not cooperating with this offense's game plan. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. More than enough time in the pocket, and he fires left. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. They had this thing in a hammerlock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Just enough there to get it to the 25 and pick up a two. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. Buys a little time with his feet. Got room at the 35. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Houston coming to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Looking for a gap. It's Jenkins. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. That's the end of the quarter, and Houston has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. And here comes the offense on second down. From the shotgun, the inside give. He stops him at the 31, but not before. He picks up 10 yards on the play. He's got 99 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs managed, but the way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. 
fires to the middle. Oh, so close to paying off the tip. Really had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Smith wants to throw. Looking to scramble. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. He's got it on the run. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. This guy's done a lot of good things early this year, throwing the football. With that last completion, that now takes him over 1,000 yards passing for the year. And the Cougars are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Cougars! And the stomping has commenced. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. You ain't lying, getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone, that vertical way up in the air. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 31, CCU, 13. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. Looking to go up top on first down. Coming after it. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. This offense has a second down play. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. He's got an open man. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Looking to pass, it's Hoover. Now he's going to send this one deep to the right. And he'll make the catch at the 15. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great. But we got to go up-tempo. We got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ball game. We got to put a lot of drives together. And maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. Quarterback on the keeper. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Going with the counter play here. Got some room headed to the goal line. He's all the way down to the three. An electric one has him set up. They're going to run it. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. Trying to barge their way in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. They'll come to the line just one yard shy of the goal line on third down. He'll toss it. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. A field goal does not top the list of most helpful things at this juncture, so they'll go for it on fourth down. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Hard Rock! Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing, because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You're powered in for the touchdown. And show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. And they add the extra point to finish the drive. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Houston, 41, CCU, 20. 
The returner will field it and try to do some business. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Houston offense comes onto the field. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. They'll give it to him again. Nice move there. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the tailback. At the 45 on his way! Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Good enough for a first down. Leaves it with the running back. Shakes off the defender. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now facing a third and long. Quarterback will audible. They'll go to the ground. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. And this field goal team has been busy. This kicker comes out for the third time tonight. And this will be a bit of a challenge, a 46-yard attempt from the right hatch. Oh, and he missed it. No good. After the missed field goal, hey, could be worse. They're still up by 21. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. To the air, it's Hoover. Got him downfield. On the move at the 30. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Richardson. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Trying to find his man on first down. He's got him still on his feet. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. The aerial assault continues. Going for six. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Getting some heat. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Takes a shot as he throws, and it never had a chance. Incomplete. Line gets set, first down. Trying to move them on the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Just feeds the running back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. With the clock running, this should be the final play.
A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No frills, just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things special every single week. All I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film. They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, boy, oh, boy, did they ever take advantage. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.